Hi and welcome to this session. I'm Niklas and today I want to have a to look together with you in our software regarding this swirl generator. Here I want to apply a local best fit alignment and make use of a very fast and efficient selection approach. Let's have a look. Okay, in this project we see um, our part um, aligned in the assembly alignment, which means that we have aligned it over the contacting surfaces to the, um, the counterparts of this element here. In this case, we see in our surface comparison that we have still some deviations here on the geometries which are valid or very important for the function of this part. In order to see if these are only position errors or also form errors, we will create a local best fit alignment over these areas. To do so, I drag and drop the CAD with the left mouse button hold here in the 3D view. Afterwards, I want to select all these parts of this valid or very important geometries. Of course, for the alignment, I could also do this via select patch. This is very time consuming, um, especially if you have maybe parts which, which have maybe also many, many more of such um, repeating geometries. So um, I will select um, with a different approach here. I click on edit, then selection in 3D, and afterwards other selections. There I find the selection select inside sphere. Of course, you could also choose different ones which are most appropriate to your parts, but in this case, this is the one which will help us. Afterwards, I can choose the center point of the sphere I can of course also edit this point or choose an existing one. And of course, I can also apply an appropriate radius for this selection here. I can also see the preview right direct here in the 3D view. I will apply and close this dialog afterwards. And then I can create a surface, which I will then use for a local best fit alignment. I click on construct then on Surface and Patch Compound from CAD. Create and close. Afterwards, with Control and right mouse button, I open the eye inspect and assign a measuring principle. In this case, a fitting element. Okay. Afterwards, I click on Main Alignment and then I create a local best fit alignment by nominal elements. In this dialog, I choose the nominal element, which is surface 1, and also I choose the appropriate alignment hierarchy. In this case, I will create this alignment based on the assembly alignment. Okay, afterwards I can drag and drop my surface comparison with the left mouse button hold and leave it here in the 3D view. Okay, as we can see, we have smaller deviations now in this part, except small areas here, which are on the tip of the parts. This means that we have major position errors for these areas and less form errors. So this is a very valuable result for us. Also here at the bottom, we can see of course that now in this um, alignment over this um, functional geometries, we have of course a displacement in the assembly alignment. So this is a strong indicator for a position error. Okay, this was one example for the selection inside of a sphere in order to perform this local best fit alignment. But of course, we have also lots of other selection tools in our software. Try them out, have fun, and then see you next time. Bye.